And welcome back, Haskey here with another guy for Banjo-Kazooie. This walkthrough is on getting all of the Jinjos in Bubble Gloop Swamp. This is a pretty good one. We get to turn into the crocodile form, which is always fun. Only, spoiler alert, we actually don't have to. There's actually a glitch that we can do in order to get the one Jinjo that we normally would have had to use uh, the crocodile form to get. Now, normally I'm not super huge on using glitches in my walkthroughs, so in this clip here I won't be doing that, but I'll be sure to splice in a little clip at the end of the video where we show off how that works. Anyway, though, enough about that for now. We already picked up the yellow Jinjo. It was kind of right there at the beginning of the level. You had to pass right by it on that bridge. You can't really miss that one. This green one here is up on that uh, twisting path where normally you'd have to uh, ground pound that switch and then run up there for that jiggy real quick. And then this one back here, this orange guy behind tanked up. This is uh, this is probably the only time I've ever actually used the uh, the uh, the waiting boots to actually grab that guy. Normally I just jump in there, take a point of damage, and jump back out. But if you want to do it safely, that's what that looks like. And now we're going to be going back over here past the big crocodile building. There's some cattails on the back side of the map over here, and there is going to be one more Jinjo over there. Don't forget as you're jumping around these pools of piranha water that if, you know, you're desperate or you, you find yourself in a situation where you have to, you can certainly use gold feathers. Um, the invulnerability does, of course, protect you from taking damage. I don't think you'll be seeing me do any of that in this video. Probably could have used some invulnerability there. Frog's a jerk. Anyway, here's that blue Jinjo I mentioned a few seconds ago. Hello, sir. How are you? Welcome to the crew. And then we're going to be heading over back towards Mumbo's hut. Now, if you do decide to do this glitch list, make sure you have at least 10 Mumbo tokens to transform into the crocodile form if you haven't already. Uh, I believe Bubble Gloop Swamp has nine of them. Uh, so if you show up with, with one, you might think you're okay. But I believe some of the Mumbo tokens actually require the crocodile form. Got a chicken or the egg situation going on there. So um, I think it's two or three. So it's in my opinion that you probably just want to show up with enough uh, Mumbo tokens to make that transformation. You don't really want to be looking for mumbo tokens as you're trying to 100% something. In my opinion, it's just something I don't like to do. Anyway, though, still moving through the uh, maze here. We've talked about this a few times in the previous walkthrough videos, but this is not really a maze. It's just kind of a winding path. Just kind of keep on going and you'll make it through just fine. And why not? A little shameless plug here. If you're looking for a video on collecting music notes or the empty honeycomb pieces in Bubble Gloop Swamp, check out my channel. Got some videos on that as well. And just because I'm kind of running out of things to say, question for the comments, what Jinjos are you here for? Was it maybe the green one on top of that, that winding path? Did you not know that was up there? I bet you it was the blue one, though, huh? Blue one's pretty tough, sitting on top of that cattail. Or maybe it's this last pink one. Maybe you didn't know that the crocodile form like fits under this little platform we're going to be taking a look at here in a few seconds. And back outside now, this time with the crocodile form. Or is it an alligator? Does it specifically say crocodile? What's the difference? I don't even know. Anyway, probably my favorite form of the game. Probably because it has an attack. I don't feel so helpless in this form. The minigame in that building right there, though, on the left-hand side where you play that, like, vegetable-eating game against that red crocodile. Man, I don't care much for that one. Joking aside, uh, <laughs> this, this spot right here where you fight all the, the frogs, the crocodile is actually pretty good for that. Although you can pretty much just instantly win that minigame by just using gold feathers. Anyway though, hey, look at that. Look at that good looking guy. How you doing? There it is, nice. Jinjo number five on Bubble Gloop Swamp. Sorry, I had trouble keeping the microphone busy there for a second. There's a long period of time between Jinjos, and this is a level that we've already done a couple of uh, walkthroughs on, so I felt like I was repeating myself. Anyway though, that's what it kind of looks like to do that legitimately, you know, glitchless. Of course, I mentioned a glitch earlier, so let's take a look at that. Alrighty, here we are. I just ran around and collected all the gingers again, leaving the pink one for last, just like before. And then all you gotta do, this is really easy, anybody can do this, sort of, probably. You just kinda stand over here and you just do the, uh, I think it's called Beak Breaker. I finally looked up the name of this ability. I've been calling it Ground Pound for days now. But I don't really know, there it is. I, th I think it's just a matter of being exactly on top of it. Like it's kinda precise. Um, whenever you do a backflip, um, after you make that initial impact, you can kind of, before Banjo touches the ground again, you can actually kind of make a small adjustment. And I just kind of sit here and I just kind of keep on 
kind of just moving over a little bit at a time until something happens. And there you go. And uh, I went ahead and did the pink one last again to show that even if it spawns the jiggy down below in the uh, piranha water there, um, you can still get that as well. So not only not only can you get the pink Jinjo, but also the puzzle piece if it if it spawns there. So it's not like you have to make sure the pink one isn't the last one or something like that. It, it doesn't matter at all. So there you go, two different ways to collect that pink Jinjo. If you want to do it the legit way, that's great. If you want to be a dirty cheater like me, hey man, that's cool, I won't tell nobody. But in any case, that's going to do it for our Jinjo guide here on Bubble Gloop Swamp. Next up is going to be Freeze Easy Peak. Stay tuned for it. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video.